microorganisms that have the ability to survive incredible conditions, that streamophiles. And first of all, why the hell would evolution in, in, endow them with the ability to survive the vacuum of space and radiation, et cetera, and so forth? But they go into hibernation. So they could be out there in a just-add-water and warmth environment, and it would come back. But I could take you even further. So that's way out there in interstellar space, and maybe you have grains of life out there, which is unbelievable enough and not accepted. But Chandra maintains that it's everywhere in space, okay, that it is coming in every day, all the time, viral containers, wow. that they're absolutely full of life. And then as they shed dust particles, which float into the atmosphere all the time, and that's all well accepted, little particles, always dust coming in from comets, within those dust particles, and that viruses are raining down on the Earth constantly, and that evolution, Darwinian evolution is certainly a big factor. Evolution has been guided by transmissions of outside molecular DNA, 